Yo, my friendos, what's up? SMS Army, Chicken Gang, it's your boy Omar SMS. We're back with another Apex Legends guide video on how I use the car SMG. Because I've seen a comment, guys, in my latest videos, and you told me to drop a car SMG video, a guide video of the car SMG. Okay, so I want to help you with this, guys. What the heck? <laughs> I want to help you with this, guys. How I made my car SMG so stable, have no recall, and have a high accuracy, and and can shoot with long range, and all the cheat codes that I did. What is that? What did I do? Okay? So stick with me with this video, guys. But before I go straight, drop a like, subscribe to the channel, guys. We need that support because we're close, close to the 10k subs. We have close. We are so close to the 10 Okay, subs guys, we're close to my dream finally. Oh my god, here we go. That's been a long journey, man. <laughs> That's been a long journey. Okay, the car SMG. Okay, this gun is the most like one of the hardest guns. If yes, if it's not the hardest, it's one of the hardest guns of the uh, that that has recoil or has problem for long range. All right, a lot of people usually mess shots with this gun. They don't really land shots on long range. They feel like it has recoil and has bad uh, uh, stability. Yeah, bad recoil and also it has like what what does it, do they say like bullet spread? So it has a lot of bullet spread and all that. Uh, in this video, I'm gonna explain to you guys how I made my car SMG feels easier and how I use it, okay? So first of all, what I started to do, first of all, when you have a car SMG guys, when you have an SMG like that with the spread bullet, all that, the first thing you have to do, if you are on console, okay, we're gonna start with console player, then we're gonna go to PC players because I want to support both of you guys. If you are on console, you have to play on a high FOV. If you play on a low FOV like 100, this is gonna be a problem with the car SMG because on a low FOV guys you you will notice all the bullets that spread you will notice the recoil you will notice how the gun how fast the gun is but when you have a high FOV you will not notice all the details in the gun you will basically notice only on the screen this is the difference between high FOV and low FOV and that's why people with low FOV suffer with aiming sometimes uh, with some guns for example but they change their style they usually play tactical and when you play 110 FOV you don't play tactical you play rushing and that's how it works with the car SMG higher FOV should be the first thing you have to change now let's go to the second thing guys first of all the second thing I mean the second of all the second thing I want to tell you guys is basically you don't need to play on classic if you guys play on classic or if you play on dead zone and classic then you will suffer with the car SMG you have to make sure that you are playing either on linear or you're playing in the middle between classic and linear with no dead zone at all and I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I play but don't copy my settings because my settings are not for you only if it's for you that is good but if it's not for you then don't play it well basically here it is it's not classic 100% classic because I use 7 response give I'm not using 10 if I use 10 I'm gonna suffer with the car SMG by the way I will not be able to play it the same way as I play on 7 and I use 0 dead zone with 7 response curve because 0 dead zone will make you feel you're fully controlled of the SMG even if it's pressed even if it's it has a lot of recall even if the bullet spreads all of that is doesn't matter because I have 0 dead zone I have 7 response curve I'm fine I can control my analog this is the second tip i want to give you guys now for pc players for the first tip if you guys have a pc this is the easiest tip i will give you is basically instead of 110 fov only you have to play on 120 fov when you play on 120 fov the car smg will be much easier i will show you guys exactly why okay here here guys when we play on 100 fov watch that when we play on 100 fov you can notice everything you can see that the screen is faster the aim is faster the sense is faster so it's gonna be a problem if you want to do a hip fire with a car smg so that's why you have to play on 110 on console and on pc 120 fov Okay, now the last trick I want to give you guys also right now is basically the outer threshold. I use high outer threshold with these settings, but if you play on linear, it, you don't really need to do it. But because I play on, on, on medium classic with zero dead zone, I have to 
make my auto threshold higher and when I make my auto threshold higher guys it does feel faster so when you have faster aim you can control a faster recoil okay a faster uh, gun so when you have a re gun that has a faster recoil like it makes a lot of recoil or make a lot of sp spread bullets and all that then having a higher auto threshold will help you to uh, stabilize it more and to control it the last last thing i want to tell you guys exactly right now the last thing is basically you have to play on high sense sorry for the people that play on low sense this video is not for you because basically this gun has to be on high sense guys how can you control a recoil with a fast gun or how can you control a hip fire and all that uh, and you have low sense it's really hard because low sense basically is good but it has a disadvantage as i explained in my old videos uh the hard, uh, the lower the sense will not make you able to control the recoil of this gun or to, to control the the hip fire and all that you will not be able to control all of them you can but you it'll be harder okay it'll be 10 times harder than having a high sense while when you have a high sense the gun is gonna be feeling easier because you ha you're really fast like that look how fast it is okay and the up and down all that everything is fast so you can actually control the gun wherever it goes all right these are the tricks guys of using the car smg now i'm gonna give you a bonus trick bonus trick is not part of the video but i tried to make it right now and think of it in a good way <laughs> well the bonus trick right here guys is basically when you go to gameplay settings and you have a crosshair damage feedback right here you can actually put this on zero at the start once you set everything behind everything on controller and everything like on off of v and all that uh, go to gameplay setting and set this on off basically when you set this on off you will notice all the bullets that you're landing on the target so you will make sure that you need to land more shots okay once you get used to the gun and you feel like you are doing very well you can get it back to actual shield icon if you want and play with it and that's it i hope you guys enjoyed the video guys this is how you play with the car smg uh how to actually uh remove the recoil and increase the accuracy on car smg if you like this video guys drop a like and see you guys in the next one chicken gang later I got I was born